Hello everybody and welcome once again to Lost Souls, that amazing mod pack by GW Sheridan. Now, I've been a little bit busy in the base, not done too much, but I've got a few blocks of um, Soul Forge deal. Well, actually, not that, not enough, but we've got a reasonable amount. Actually, we haven't got enough to do. Let's have a look, how much have I got in here? I should have. Soul Forge deal, seared bricks. I can't see it for trying, probably in the other chest let's have a look 25 it takes a lot of effort to make those what we're going to do first of all is we're actually going to get a a tip another tip from psycho nightmare mangle let's make a sound muffler let's do the wrong control and a should highlight it all fairly straightforward recipes what's this one <laughs> with the boss death. okay <laughs> they're good ones aren't they so we need a note block that shouldn't be too difficult some sidings that's all we need eight 14 is far too many we'll just split that into two and some redstone so let's make the note block and then we've got one piece of wool is it have i got any wool No, I haven't. Let's make a piece, a piece of wool, four pieces of string. You notice the first one of those clicks gave me two. Well, I, if, I'd, if I had used something with my hand, it wouldn't have done that for us. So now we should be able to make a sound muffler. Great. And I'm going to get some more stacks of nether rack. I'm going to get three, actually, because we need probably need a few. Now there's also a little mob on top of me, so before I get anywhere, let's go and do that one. Get the thing into my hand. It's probably at the top. Can't see it. Oh well, he'll come jump down and attack me from the wing over here. So what I've been doing here is this. I'm going to put the sand muffler here, in fact. Let's put the sand muffler down first. And then we're going to put three stacks of nether racket to the. Oh yeah, that's nice. Can't hear those. Only just. <laughs> Little wimpy squeaks. There it is. Look, I was looking for you. Yeah, if I need it, I got it eventually. Three shots later on. Now I should have got some bits. I can pick up one over there and probably another one over here. So what I did here is I enabled these. So you'll see at the moment I've put some redstone down. And the idea of the redstone here is that you can just about see it. There's a, put a red, I put a piston, a sticky piston. And underneath the sticky piston I put a block of redstone like that. And it's extended. That turns on this these lines. And there's two lines here. There's one here and there's one that goes around the back. It needs to go around the back because otherwise... And there's the torch. You can just see the torch. So let me go down one block here. You see this torch, and that torch will affect these three um, hibachis, and the other one, which you can't either, which you can't see. Let's go down there again. There's this one here. There's there's three. In fact, there's one here which will affect this um, hibachi, and this one, in fact, and then there's another one on the other side of it here, which you can't. Uh, can't maybe I'll just go down here a bit so I can see it. Oops. To jumping sometimes a nuisance here and there's a third one on the other side of this and that will light up these three and the other one will sort out well in fact it'll light up these three behind it and the other ones will sort out the others so let's just put everything back again now i don't need any of this stuff i've got here do i cover it all up where i can that is i can't cover every 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 bit and piece up because we just because there's some bits take it up so when i flick this now they all come on. All of the hibachis are coming on like that, as you can see. And down here, I think that was just to show you the other one, the other pair over there. So what I could do, let's put my diamond, so I use this to get some bits and pieces down here. It's always a nice way of doing it. Yeah, good. And I could fill in these holes. 
Have I got enough? Oh yeah, the thing's broken. So just <laughs> let's just fill this in, but just manually. It's only really three I can put down, isn't there? Like that. So if I break this block here, these two will actually work properly as expected. Uh, I mean, in the sense of they will become blue. I shall demonstrate that. I think we'll turn it off first of all. And we'll turn this on. Get rid of this one. I have got another hibachi with me. I can even put this one down. But I won't do for the time being. So they will get up and it actually, then it has the air and the air will then push those through. But that makes it difficult to get to the kiln. So I don't I mind. It just makes it a little bit slower. Put that one there. They should go off and go orange eventually. So that's how I've done that. And then we've got the cauldron here which is not stroked. And on the other side we've got the cauldron that is stroked here. And the same with the crucible over here. And I don't think I've got anything in those. They're all em they're all empty now. But I've sort of discovered something else. Let's take these here. Split them into 18 nuggets. And have a look for the uses of the nuggets. If I look into a stroke crucible, it'll make these diamond ingots, which are the ones we need to make certain types of tool and armor. So let's put those into there. And we wait and we'll come back in a minute and see those also what i'd like to do today is i've got my tree fluid extractor and we will basically put this down and get it into operation i think because i think i can put it down now so look at the yes i got the required levels eventually got the required levels i got the required levels for a few things as well i got i got it up to i can actually mine ardite now as well so let's have a look at that so you see i've got mining 27 fact I should increase probably magic if I can't now I go oh, I can yes good what have we got seven skill points we need ten for that and seven for that I don't think I want to do this one just yet anyway teleporting will end up on a longer hurt you so I increase this one then we get golden tools we know okay don't, neither of those are particularly exciting so let's put this down I'm not sure how I'm going to lay out the machines yet but let's start with this one. Let's bring it here. That went actually the other way around. That's interesting. Uh, I'm not sure how this works. So it does have an, ex uh, an extraction point. Good. So what we need to do now is get a cable and a connector. And that should give it power. I presume it needs power. If I can see them, which I can't. As a cable. And here's an LV connector, and I think an LV connector will be fine. So we'll just, I'll, I'll just check. I don't, or maybe we don't need power for this thing. It contains fluids. No recipes in here, is there? Maybe we just need some wood. Let's just try putting some wood into this thing. I've got plenty of wood in here. Oh, it's already already full, isn't it? Goodness. And I've actually got some hellbark leaves because I changed the tree again. I put a hellbark something on the top of it because <laughs> the, the birch wasn't doing too much. So let's just take out a stack of that. In fact, I should probably do a stack of apples and put those in to make some dirt. I didn't really do that. It doesn't use them all up, but it uses up a fair amount. I would need to get, it's 10 per um, wooden barrel. And let's put the other apples somewhere. I can't put them in there. Maybe I can put them in here. And we can put the other rack away. I'll just take one stack of that with me just in case. You never know. If this doesn't work, I have no idea whether it will do or not. I don't know how to use this thing. Oh. Fluid. They take flank fluid containers. Let's have a look at that quest. See if it gives me any information about how I use this. Do I have to put the wood down there? I 
Well, that's strange. All right, I'll look that up between now and the next episode, because there are a few more things and bits and pieces I'd like to make in this episode. I still need to make some more soul urns because I need to make more um, gears. And the gear, the gear for this one, let's have a look at the recipe for that. I'm just going to look at the thing or some times to look at gears. So this is the steel gear box. That's the broken one. This is the one we need for the anvil. So we have to make the anvil first of all. But we need one, two, three, six gears. And each one of these, if we look at the anvil recipe, is at least five ingots. So that's 30 gears, uh, 30 ingots to start with. Um, which is a lot, I mean, th yeah, which is a lot of ingots because I've only got 25 so far. And we need to use seven of those to make the anvil. And we, there's another recipe with a compactor from thermal expansion. So we're only using four, and I think that's the way I'd like to go. So let's have a look at the recipe for the compactor. It'll be basic thermal expansion. Copper gear should be no problem. Redstone reception coil, no problem. Uh, gold, shift that away. What else do we need for that one? Machine frame. That's a block of iron in a resonator. Does it tell me what I need for GP for this? It doesn't. Now, let's make, so therefore we need to make a resonator. So let's make a resonator first of all, if we can. And it's this one. So, two blocks of redstone. That's not so difficult. Let's get those clicked into place. Make eight. Bit short on redstone, but not too bad. I was just holding shift and scrolling across that, by the way. And then we need a block of this coal coke. <laughs> Didn't work so well. That's why I've been basically filling up these tanks with with um, creosote in here. <laughs> I think it's creosote. Yep. So the next one, resonator. So we need this resonating crystal. And I think I need a few of these, to be honest with you. And I made some of those. Where are they? Resonating crystals, because that was the one I was using this for. And so I should have three. They won't be in there, but uh, I thought they were in one of these two chests. But they don't seem to be. I know where they might be. No, they're not in a dump chest. Yeah, that's a bit of a problem. Let's try in here. All right, we got one in here. I must have used the other two. For, I think I used the other two, didn't I? So now we should be able to make the resonator. Indeed, we can. Now this thing needs GP. Let's bleed down somewhere or other when we completed a quest. Let's just, it doesn't really matter where we put it down. I'm going to put it down here. When I complete it, what did I just do? Honestly, right, I've got another bug. So just doing that, putting down that and it gets you another bug. Okay, let's put the resonator down there. And then we should put, be able to put into that a block of iron. But we need, first of all, some way of providing that with GP. So let's get a block of iron, first of all, to find out exactly how much we need. So it needs 0.23 GP. Now, to get GP, I think there's several ways. And I think the first way we have to do it is to use the manual one. So I'm going to see if I can get the manual one first of all done. Um, extra utilities, and it's the, what's it called, manual? I think it's called manual something or other. There we go. The manual mill gives 15 GP. 
Okay, so we need another resonating crystal, so we'll do that one. That will, and I, I'll only do one because I'll probably run out of redstone if I don't. What else do we need? Two polished, I think that's just, oh, polished stone. Okay, that's easy, we just make some polished stone. So we just need two polished stone, I think we have to make those into force. Oh, look, I've got them up here. So you just basically put those like that, and then that'll give us polished stone. And then we make this. So we need four redstone torches um, and some planks. Redstone torches, I've got two here, so I need another two. Let's do that over here. I've got sticks. So now I've got four of those. I should be able to just craft that one straight up. Redstone gear. So now we should be able to craft up the manual mill. Fantastic. Oh, another quest. Basic GP. Okay, I didn't even realise the quest. So all you do with this is just hold down the right mouse button on it. And that should do. That's generating 15. And then you'll have to look at this thing over here. And we've already got our machine frame. So that's how we get the machine frames. <laughs> we can complete another quest. My goodness, I'm going through those quests today, aren't I? So now, I want the compactor, don't I? So we need to make some copper gears. So that's going to require eight ingots of copper. So let's have a look what we've got in here for copper. Have I got any hard oh, chunks? Have I got any copper that's not processed? Nope. I've got two types of copper, that's why I'm looking for copper. I've got some here. Let's just sort this chest, maybe I can see it better. Oh, I know what I did, I converted it all. So we need eight. We'll go into three. And that'll make two gears. So let's put those quickly into here. Make sure that's turned off, take away this that's a, the, that was yes, that was the sharpening one. Take the gear one out of here and put that into there like that. Check this thing's empty, which it isn't. So I'll have to wait for this. Yeah, I'll leave that like that. Put that at the bottom. So uh, this should carry on. I don't want to. Conv I don't want manilium gears basically. So I'm going to have to wait for all of that to be done before I can get the two gears out of here two ingots so I can make the first gear now but I'll come back in a minute is there anything else we need to make for this thing bronze oh, I've got bronze ingots already and a piston actually we haven't made any pistons let's make a piston so we need stone and planks so it should be cobblestone shouldn't it Planks. Four, I think we need, don't we? No, it's three. I need to remember the recipe for pistons. I haven't made one for ages. I've got a few pistons anyway, but let's make one for this episode anyway. So where is it now? There. Make the piston. So we now have almost everything we need for that. So over here, we just basically need these two copper gears. I made the bronze back accident, so I basically didn't take out the copper and tin up quickly enough. So I should be able to make the one gear. I guess I've got enough ingots there, look. That one's done. Let's do the next one. And then after that, we'll just leave, take this out. Let's put the sharpening mask back in again. Put that back up here. So we've got our two copper gears. And that's good, because I always save you one ingot of iron doing it that way. Or going through the process of making stone gears. So we should now be able to make this compactor. 
Fantastic. And then we should be able to power this compactor, so let's do that. And while we're here, let's take four. Where's it gone to? Gears. Only we need it to have. Here we go. We're also going to have to make the anvil, so we'll have to do that both times. So let's get this one started first of all. It might be possible to do it the other way as well, but he didn't have the recipe for that. Oh look, this is breaking. Ah, oh, it's working. Look, I didn't know that. Fantastic. So that's great. Let's just uh, put this machine down here. I think that's in parallel. Ah, uh, bit awkward. Let's put it down here. So now we put the connector on top of this one. And that's a connector. This one's a relay, so it basically means I can take the pa the cable from the relay out of it again. Connectors you can't do that with. So this should now be getting some power. Indeed it is, 40,000 RF. So I can then should be able to put these four soul-forged steel ingots into here, and hopefully we will get a gear coming out of it. So we've actually got our first first machine isn't that fantastic? Well, actually, it's a second machine. So let's go back over here and get out of this these two iron, these two diamond ingots. And that might have even oh, no, it's still working. Oh, what's happened here? Soul forge plate. Is that wrong? Do I have to specify a different way? Come back to gear. Oh. That's not right. <laughs> so how do I do that? There must be an augmentation upgrade required for this thing. Tell you what, let's take those out of there before I do too much damage. So let's have a look for that one. So that's thermal foundation augments. Let's have a look. I shall do this inside just in case one of those little embers decides to attack me and in the process of looking at my inventory. So that's Ashley Augment. Ah yes, there's an augment to make a gear. Well there you go. So that basically means that that machine then needs an upgrade on it so I can put the augment into it. So lead plates and an iron gear, okay. I presume I can smelt these again. Let's try smelting those. Hopefully I haven't wasted three. Let's see if this works. I'm not even sure it will work. Let's try it in here. Soul full steel plates. Nope. Doesn't look as though that's working, does it? Let's have a look at uses of this. Doesn't have any uses. <laughs> oh dear. Double check that one. No uses whatsoever. Okay, well I messed that up, didn't I? I should have checked the recipes a bit better. So there's me wanting to save some soul forge steel and I haven't done, used exactly the opposite. Brilliant. Okay, let's make the anvil for this anyway. <laughs> so let's have a look, uh, anvil. I don't want three of those. So what we can actually do is make nuggets of this stuff. That's a shame with these plates, I'm really not... But it's my own fault, I should have taken a bit more care, shouldn't I? Nope. I'm not supposed to do anything whatsoever. It's interesting that you can make them without actually having any uses for them. Shame. But we can make a diamond... What we can do, though, is we can make a diamond hammer. Let's do that, because there is a quest for this. I'll only make one diamond hammer, like that. That'll complete another quest, diamond hammer. So let's have a look at these quests, since I've done quite a few of them. Now, the Better With Mods one, we don't have a quest 
for the anvil as such. We have a quest for this one, an upgrade axle. So we need to make a steel axle, three steel axles. I'm not sure what they're going to do for us, but that will give us three. I think I'm going to do this as a choice reward. Let's have a look what we have to do to make those steel axles in a minute. So that's all of those done. The gearbox we looked at just a minute ago. So, oh, a, a load of other things have opened up for us. Ex nihilio compression. We've done this one. So we've done our diamond hammer. We've got a choice reward. I'll take the chance. I to hide them. They're generally not too bad. And I still haven't decided what I'm going to do with this one. It's probably going to... It doesn't need a barrel. A fermenting barrel or a loot chest. If it's anything, it's going to be a chance isohydrons. But there... Or maybe two fermenting barrels. But I'm not sure what they're used for. I have to look it up, don't I? So tinkering... I would like to do some mending moss. Because then I could put that on the pickaxe or something else. Tinker's tank I can't do because we still haven't been able to get any obsidian out of the thing. Um, getting food, I'm not bothering with at the moment because that's just getting food. Immersive tech. Well, we've completed all of the quests so far that I think we can do some more of these. Bless oh, better steel. Ah, yes. We should do that one because that's a really good one to do. It makes the blast furnace work fast. So I won't do that just let's carry on and see what we've actually completed with quests nothing there extra additions okay so we've completed the resonator we get a loot chest claim that done we've completed the basic GP loot chest done and we've completed transfer pipes actually quite a long time ago claim that and done what else can we do in here we can do upgrades demon ingots Magical wood. I think magical wood's quite difficult. So let's go and put these away. I'm putting these away over here, aren't I? Should have only one. And lots of chests. Let's open up these chests. I've just got about enough space for these chests. I have some more of the lamps. Which I shall put into the right chest here next one some more nuggets copper and gold which I should find and another diamond pickaxe and another battle axe okay actually that's shit I don't think they stack do they now and everything's full okay I'm gonna have to put it in here I'm gonna have to do something about my storage very very soon I'll probably do that off camera. Have we got any uses for these? Let's have a look. Yes, an auto hammer. We can actually do this one. That might well be a good thing to do. But I would prefer to do an auto sieve, first of all. But this is definitely a quest. Let's have a look what the auto sieves are doing for us. So that's the auto hammer and this is the auto sieve blocks of iron it's just a lot of iron isn't it well I suppose it doesn't matter it would make life a lot easier to do sieving anyway so we just need to make a sieve which I probably can't make in there I probably can make a sieve in here I've got some sieves I could use those anyway but I think I'll make a new sieve Make 21 sieves, that's fantastic. So now we should be able to do the auto sieve. Oh, glass panes. Okay, glass panes are very easy. Let's look at the uses. Of, I'll do it from this way, look. So now we can do the auto sieve, I think. Everything we've got for that one. And that'll definitely complete another quest. Auto sieve. So 
what we can do for this now of course is to put some stuff down here um, I need some gravel I've got some gravel here like that I will need a a mesh probably got some meshes in here Let's take a diamond mesh what else do we need did I get a cable no I didn't get a cable let's get a cable my last cable so I'm gonna have to make some more of those Let's put the auto sift down here. Put on top of it another LV connector. And then we can connect these two together. I think I should be able to do it. If I can't do it from there, I might have to do it from there. Let's have a look. Yes, we can. Good. So now we've got no mesh. So we can put the mesh in. And then we can start to put materials in. So we could put the gravel in like that. And just let it do its thing. And at the end of the time, we'll have some stuff in it. It'll all be sieved into here, so we don't have to do anything with it. But let that do that. So that's the first of our progressions for automation, which is actually a really nice progression. So this windmill's making power enough to do that. I don't know if this is... Oh, it's staying flat, so that's fine. And this one is... No, nah, it's just about keeping it with the amount of power that we can see there. This one, of course, is not doing anything useful. So and this has now got our latex tank so i think we needed a bucket of latex didn't we so let's have a look have i got a bucket with me no nope. let's go and get a bucket none in there for a change that's uh, unusual where i put the buckets in that case don't think I've used them all up somewhere. Maybe, oh, I know where they might be. Nope. I don't know what I've done with a bucket. That's strange. That is... Ah, uh, it might be in here. Nope, don't see a bucket in there either. Okay, well maybe I have to make a bucket. That's a bit weird. I'm sure I've got a bucket on me somewhere. Definitely can't see it. Let's put this anvil down while I'm here as well. Where should we put the anvil? Let's put the anvil down here. And you see, you can see the 4x4 four four matrix in that. I thought it was going to crash then. So slow. Well. What have I done with the buckets? Probably seeing them and I can't see them. I've got some stuff in here that doesn't belong in here, but maybe I'll take that out of there for the time being. Hmm. Well, that's strange. Okay, let's make another bucket. We'll do it the cheap way this time. Oops, didn't spell that right. It's an ordinary bucket. So we could just do with some iron plates and three pieces of string. Okay, so three pieces of iron. On the hammer, of course. And three pieces of string. Oops. Do that like this. What I normally do with this is to go across like that and then drop it down. That should give me a bucket. Okay, let's go and fill this up with latex, and I think that then completes a another quest. I don't know what we use the latex for. What do I put it into? Oh, there we go. Ah, yes, indeed, we've completed the quest latex. And that probably opens up more of that quest line, so let's have a look at that one as well. Uh, 
Now, if I remember rightly, that was industrial. Indeed it is. So now we've completed this one, we get a loot chest. Done that. That one. And then we can make some plastic. It's the next one on the list. So for that, we need to make some, a latex processing unit and some plastic. Okay. Let's have a look what we've got to do for a latex processing unit. What does it look like? That one. So an iron gear, another machine frame, that's no big deal. We've made them some furnaces and some iron. Okay, that's not too bad. Let's get on and do that. So we need 16 of these. We need some netherrack, 16 netherrack. I've got 64 on me anyway. Um, I was keeping that for reasons, wasn't I? Just in case I needed to fill in things, holes up or anything like that. Let's get rid of this bug as well. It's uh, bugging me at the moment. It's in the way. Taking up inventory space. And so these plates that I can't use. <laughs> so, now we can make a furnace. Like, like that, we make two furnaces. Let me put these around the outside of that. We'll make two furnaces. We can go and get some iron. So we need four pieces of iron. But let's put that into the machine and get the get those smelting and then we open up the chest. I think. Item up. Take this out of. Here. Actually, let's put that down there. Oops, wrong one. Sharpening kit. You know what I was thinking of doing? I was thinking of making another um, shuriken, manilium shuriken, because with the, that we could then do other stuff with it. Let's take this one out to fill out that. What I was thinking about doing is then being able to upgrade that one so that we could then, with reinforced unbreakable, so we don't have infinite ammo, and that might be a good solution. What have we got in here? Another diamond pickaxe, another battle axe. Wow. Okay, I'm not doing so well with those. So look, have we got four? We've got half of that now. Let's go and put these away. I should really be able to make some more progress with these, shouldn't I? So we're going down nothing special. Let's take that out of there. Put that into this chest with the other ones. Let's really use those now, shouldn't I? What we can do, of course, is to make the eye a steel axle. Let's do that and complete that quest. Here we go. Two self forged gears. Okay, and lots of nuggets. Six nuggets. So that's five, ten, eleven ingots of. That's a lot, isn't it? Let's. I'm going to do it anyway because I think it's time to do it. So we need what? Three of those. I think we need converting into nuggets. Let's come on to here and then get the gear recipe for this. They are just make two gears, and then we should be able to make the axle. We need to make three of these, don't we? Wow, that's gonna take a long time. So, we need these leather belts. Leather belts are dead easy. We've got some tan leather somewhere, I think it's in here. I've got enough strips. Look. five. I really need six to make three, don't I? Well, I'll make those five. So now I should be able to make the rest of these. Because it's no big deal making that now. So One. Awesome. <laughs> One steel axle. Oh. A shift click with an empty hand to rotate this block. Okay. What I was hoping for I'm not sure it's going to make any difference. Let's put this down over here. Let's take this one out of here. What I'm going to do is here is I'm going to put in um, steel, a steel gearbox in this, and I hope it makes it go faster. But I, 
Oops, don't know whether it's going to make it go faster or not. So it says we could shift right click this with an empty hand. Let's put this down. Let's put it down incorrectly. Pick up the axle there. Oh yeah, that's actually working straight away. But I don't know whether it's going faster or not. So there's a, some more uh, ground netherrack. What have I got with me at the moment? I've got another 64. Let's see if that makes any difference to the speed of this. It's hard to say. Yeah, I think that's gone faster. I'm not 100% sure. It's difficult. I'd have to get to and compare the two differences, wouldn't I? Maybe I'd do that between episodes. I've got a second mill. So I just, it wouldn't be so much of a problem to putting a second one down, would it, in another gearbox? Anyway, we've completed some more quests. Let's go and claim those rewards. Um, I need another block of iron, don't I? I'm running out of iron very fast, though. So we need to put another block of iron in that resonator to make the latex machine. Let's do that. That's not too bad though, it doesn't take too long. In fact, you just have to right click it once. And I think it stops automatically when it's finished. Doesn't look like it is doing, but I'm sure it's finished. So, next one. We want to make this latex machine, don't we? Where is it? The latex processor. I remove steel from the search because that's bad one, well it takes a lot of stuff and it's automatic feeder we'll have to do some stage of the game compact what's it gone to compacting drawers, I need to make some of those as well because that would be good yeah here we go, latex processing unit, oh, so we just need we're just missing the iron gear which should be ready by now So we've got plenty of uh, manilium sharpening kits now, so I'll, I'll leave them in. I'll take them with me. One thing I did discover about those is you can actually apply those onto your tool as you're using it. So, for instance, I don't have to go to a tool forge. All I have to do is this, and it'll repair it. Yeah. So I'm not going to repair it until it breaks, but at least we know that we don't have to go and have an extra tool. So that's great for our inventory space management, which, of course, my inventory space management is... Did I pick up that gear? Oh, I did good. It's appalling. So, basic drawers, what's it gone to? There we go. A latex processing unit. Now, I've got no idea how we use this, so whether it needs power or not. Oops. So, let's have a look. If it needs power, that's. No problem, I'll put it on, I'll put it in the place of the compactor here. It needs power. Okay, so I'm gonna break this the one on the compactor, so I just take the pickaxe on this one. I think there's a hammer good for this, I'm not hundred percent sure. Let's just try the hammer on it. Yeah. The hammer does a good job on that. So let's put this down now onto this machine. And between times I'll make some more bits and pieces for this as well. So there you can see that's working nicely. So I guess what we do is, are there any recipes on this thing? That's taken those. What's that doing with it? I presume that's for power. Let's go and get some, there'll be some more in here, I guess, won't there? Let's shift click that button to get in. Yes, it does work that way. And let's put another piece of wood in front of it. I'm not sure how much we're going to need of this either. Do you know, it's the first time I've ever seen these machines, so. Let's put this bucket through again. We need another liquid in here, don't we? Ah, oh, water. Okay. Water is less of a problem. So that'll make plastic, water and rub latex, huh? Oops, try again. Where 
is it? Oh, just right click it. So it's produced a tiny, <laughs> a tiny dry rubber. Oh, okay. So what we need to do with this then is feed water into it. Well, that's not so difficult. So let's do that. So what I'm going to do to do that, what do we need for water? We need a wooden crucible and a hopper, basically. And I can feed the leaves into that. Okay. Now, wooden crucible. Let's make the wooden crucible first of all. I think that everything I've got in here, I'll just, just get rid of for the time being. We should be able to do that straight away. Make one of those five, good. We can make another chest. Let's make it, let's put in the recipe for hopper. So we don't want the trap chest, just an ordinary chest will do. What's an hopper chest? This one will do. <laughs> what did it do that for? Okay, that'll do fine. And then we can do the hopper recipe. Oh, I need iron for that, of course. I thought I'd got iron with me. No, nope, I haven't got any iron with me. Let's do that over here. So that's that. And, that. and then we need a fluid duct, which I might have in my bag. So I've got a fluid duct here and I've got a servo. That'll do fine. And I think that's all we need except for some leaves. So let's take some leaves out of here. Oak leaves. Birch leaves. Okay, they'll do. So all I need to do now is to set up the crucible here. There might be a, it's probably a cheaper way of doing this. In fact, probably don't need to use hopper. Probably could use an item duct and put a and fill it with chest of leaves in it, but for the for the sake of speediness, I'm going to do it this way, like that. Put the leaves into here like that. They'll slowly feed into that, making water. So now all we need to do is to push that water with a fluid duct, and it can be a standard fluid duct. It doesn't have to be a hardened one. It should tell me actually. Yes, we'll break if it's hot or cold, but it's just water, that's fine. I'll put this down here like that. So we can do it like that. Then we could shift right click, or right click this onto here like that, not shift right click it, and then just turn that on. So this then should have water in it, which it has. And I can do the same thing with the other side, I guess, with the LaTeX. So what's happening here? That's that one. So I guess that's got to get up to a bucket, and it has, yes, and it uses up some power and makes a tiny dry rubber. Let's have a look at the uses of those. So nine of those makes a dry rubber, and the uses of that, and we've cut one dry rubber. Okay, so we've basically just got to make nine of these, and we should then have enough to make it. So uh, later, that's pretty good. So that will actually complete the next quest, I reckon. Can I turn this machine around? If I break it, does it lose the... I'll tell you what I'll do. Let's put this through there like that. And put that into this machine. Do that until it's empty. And then we have enough plastic, whatever we're going to do for this. No, 46 million buckets. So now we can break. Ah, oh, it's actually broken the machine for us. Great. A little piece of wood. So, what we could do then is to feed this the other way. So, let's pick this machine up. What's the pickaxe, I guess? So, now, which way was it? I think if I put it down here. Yes. Okay, now I should be able to then take another fluid duct put the fluid duct here. I'm not 100% sure whether that's going to work. So, 
because it's the front face of this machine that I'm putting this onto. I have to go make another server. It doesn't always work when you do it that way around. So let's put that down there like that. So that's then filling it with LaTeX again. Yes, you lose the contents when you break the machine. So get through the door, which I'm having difficulty with again. So what do we need to do now? We need to make another server, wasn't it? We'll make the cheap iron ones, that'd be fine for doing this. What do we need for that? I don't think we need anything, let's just try it again. Oh glass. Okay, we got glass in the other in the other chest, that's no problem. We'll make two servers. Because we can always replace the other one with a hardened the hardened one with a cheap one. Like that. Let's go and put those down. So that's going to come out of this machine here. And turn that on. So now let's see if it looks the latex increasing and in Indeed it is. So it is actually working. It's not like the thermal foundation machines that only accept it from the sides and back, but not from the front. So this is, ah, oh, I see, it's going, it's, it's basically pushing it out at the same speeding as it's coming in at. Great. So now we've got five tiny rubbers. We'll have six in a few seconds so when that gets up to there, yeah. So we just need three more of those. Oof hard work. The reason I didn't put this down any lower, oh, I could put it down lower on this axle, this muffler, let's do that. 64, how much have we got in there? Oh, it's empty, good. I think that's going faster, you know. That would make it more sensible, especially for this machine, because we've got to make a lot of soul forged steel, so that's, and the thing that takes the longest time was the ground netherrack. That's basically enough now. For each one of these will make four ingots, so we've got 16 ingots. <laughs> Which is just about enough to make another axle. And we've got to make three of those. So I'm going to be busy between episodes. And I'm going to make another... Um, I'm going to straight away I'm going to make another sound muffler. Let's do that as well. can see it and I can't see it for that elected look. <laughs> in fact I can see where they're all in here look at that. Yep, half of those will do just fine. Eight. Let's try that again. And then we need four pieces of string. left click it not right click it so we can make this four pieces of string into some wool we've got another sound muffler which I'm going to put down in here when I make the the rest of the soul urns that's prepared I'm going to put it beside it here in fact like that so instead of having to listen to all that noise let's see how much difference it makes Split that into two and that into two and then just drop this over there like that. Well, what can I say? <laughs> it's not affected it enough. Actually, you know, I don't know where that mob is. Supposed to be there. Well, don't ask me. I ain't 100% sure exactly what's going on there. Anyway, I've got uh, no capacity in my thing at the moment. But I've got a feeling that's actually the end of the episode. I had to do a break because some, some SMS message came in. So let's have a look. And though these things. There's not much use for ingots. 
So these here, I've got 24 in ingots, and the uses of those basically make a block or make a hibachi. And then you can use it as a, um, a catalyst, I suppose, to make more stuff. But I don't see any real advantage of doing that. Maybe it's just to make more machines. Constant shield gives me six. I don't know what the recipe for that is. Uh, yeah, you're basically getting the same back as you started with. Can we actually make a shield? Iron and salt planks. I think we probably can make a shield, can we? Because that's another good thing to put in your right hand when you're doing stuff, isn't it? So, that's it for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it, learnt something new. Anyway, until next time, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.